I'm Stan Waterman, and you're watching Aqua Peril TV. You know, I've been asked very often two very different things, different polls. One, what was the most dangerous experience you ever had? Two, what is your favorite shark story? And unfortunately, because media, media loves drama. Drama is man-eating shark, and sharks have taken a terrible rap because of that. So consequently, if you have a story about the time you were most scared in your life because of your, your experience with a shark, that is an answer to it. And there are many other answers in contemporary times as I've discovered that we could work with sharks. And that trial, years ago, back in 1961, was it? No, 65, when we were shooting Blue Water White Death. And the first time that we went out of a protective cage into open ocean water with big oceanic sharks, Longimanus, the, the big eight and 10 footers in open water feeding on a whale carcass, we were scared shitless. Oh, I bet, let me, no, we were extremely frightened. <laughs> All depends on your audience. You can edit these as you wish. <laughs> because, because, because we didn't know what was going to happen, but Peter Gimbel, who is no longer alive now, um, through no reason of the sharks, went out of his cage, and two of us shooting with him went out to follow him, and we got away with it, found that the sharks were curious, interested in us, bumped us, brushed against us, as we're shooting against each other with three cameras, getting what was happening to us as we're shooting what was happening to the others, we began to realize that they weren't going to gobble us up. And so we postulated over a period of time what may make sense to almost everybody, that we are nothing like the natural food of a shark. So when a shark, that primitive animal, sees a human being in the water, the instinct is not on his usual diet to take what he sees there. A big animal, usually even bigger than the shark, bubbles coming out of the aqualungs and so on, and so they are not prone to attack. Anyway, the story about how we first learned we could work with sharks, which was that 100 miles to sea off of Durban, South Africa, with the Union Whaling Company, was the seminal moment time when we began to realize we could go in the open and work with the animals. I wrote in my first book, which is called Sea Salt, which is out of print now, but I wrote about being careful, never losing respect for the animals. So that rapport that my friend Sarah has achieved so wonderfully with sharks is also under underlined with respect and never take them for granted because 300 and something million years has made them apex predators with instinct and you can do things that you shouldn't do that provoke that instinct. So it's wonderful fun to work with sharks if you know how to work with them but you never lose that sense of respect and care and there's a time to get out of the water. Ha, ha, ha.